Say hi, Bijou's Kitchen. Hi, Bijou's Kitchen. What are we making? We're back today. We are making eggs. Egg muffins. We're making egg muffins. And what are you doing? I'm cracking the egg. So, if you're cracking the egg, you want to do a little of this. And then, have a bowl, and then get a bowl, and go, and push your thumb in a little bit. Then open it. As you awesome. see, there is a bowl to crack it open from. And I just let it pour. And then I let the yolk come up. Cool. Let me know you hold this for a second and this. Well, let me. Can we play? All right, so Beach's Kitchen. So we are making egg muffins. I've got this lovely pan here. Got my oil spray. She's cracking eggs. I am doing Italian, so I've got my basil and my sun-dried tomatoes and some mozzarella cheese that I'm gonna put in here and throw it in the oven for about 20 minutes. No, that's different. That's a different one. I'm also going to do a spinach and mushroom one with cheddar cheese. So we've got two going on. You can always throw some shredded potatoes, sausage, onions, peppers, zucchini, anything you want in your egg muffins. But they're quick. They take 20 minutes to throw in the oven and you've got breakfast for the whole week. Once you get the shell, she takes it out. And we're good for mixing. I will check to make sure there's no shells because I don't like all the extra yes. fiber. All right, so we'll see you in a little bit. Thank you. All right, so this is where we're starting. I've got my sun-dried tomato in. I decided to add a little bit of shallot, so I'll show you that one, and then I'll start pouring after I get the shallot and basil in there. All right, see you soon. Okay, so what is that, babe? This is our right. Egg mixture. What's in it? Kitchen. And we What's have in it? some milk inside of it to make it a little lighter and sick. And look at this not, little... not sick. That's it. We don't want our food to be sick. <laughs> but it is lighter. We added about 12 ounces. Um, you can do it just straight egg. I wanted to stretch what I had. The last time I did this, my sister's making a quiche over there. The last time I did this, I was able to get two 12 pans, um, muffin tins out of 12 eggs. Please stop, ma'am. Okay. Um, so I, that milk helps you stretch your thing of eggs. All right, hands out. We're not showing your hands, ma'am. Ma'am. All right, see you in a bit. All right, yeah, go ahead and put it in. So little person's adding a basil. I've got my shallots and sun-dried tomato. Um, another thing you could do is take a croissant and put it at the bottom. And you can do half and just have, just have a little bit of dough. But I decided to just do, like I said, just egg and cream in this one. I usually like a little bit of carb to really feel filled. But she's getting her basil. She's putting it in. Look how pretty it looks. And I actually put a little bit of dry basil in the eggs. So, yeah, we'll see you in a little bit. I got to add the cheese. But look at that color coordination. Love it, love it, love it. You want to mix it? So I've got about seven little pieces of basil. No, leave it alone. And that's it. Shallots, some sun-dried tomato. I had the julienne ones, and I cut it smaller, and that's how it looks like that. Mm. All right, see you soon. All right, so this is it so far with the cheese. We're getting there, guys. We're almost at the egg part. Kind of feel like I want to put more cheese. So this is like a seven mix of mozzarella. And then I'm going to throw a little parm in there. It does, it's six, I'm sorry. Um, it does have parm already, but I really want to add that extra you punch. You mean parmesan cheese? Yep, so I like my cheese. So we're going to, mm. when I did the other ones, it didn't have, have enough cheese. So I'm really parmesan doing some cheese. Definitely gonna do some cheese. Cheesy cheesiness. All right. Especially since it does not have meat. <gasps> Going hard on my cheese. Gooey. It looks cheesy. really pretty already. 
All right, so right now I'm just adding my egg mixture. I do want to tell you that I personally season my eggs. I added a little bit of, like I said, the basil to it, but I also added, this is one of my favorite seasons, the quarry, I'm sorry, nori, chicken seasoning. Um, I got that from my husband. Um, he, he'll put that in the egg sometimes, and oh, I tell you what, you are so happy he did it. It comes out so good. So I'm not filling them all the way to the top. You can. It'll just puff up really nicely, and then it will um, dilute. Um, then it will pop, kind of deflate. But I'm just trying to make sure I have enough for two pans. So yeah, last time I had so much more in it. I had potatoes and sausage and biscuits. So there was only there was egg, but you know there was a lot of stuff to fill up my pan. So this time, it's mainly eggs, so it's probably going to take one egg for each. So, yeah. All right, I'll show you in a little bit. There's 11 of these. There's 12. There's 12. Three Wait, times four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Six, one, two, Can we trust three, mommy when I tell you it's 12 and then we'll count it after? Oh. All right, so we've got our stuff on the table, drinking water. Mommy, can I have some um, please wait. So right now, I actually did go back and fill them all the way up. It took all 12 eggs and the 16 ounces of milk that I put in there to fill these up because there's not a lot in there. I actually am going to come back one more time before I put it in the oven because I'm going to put pepperoni on half of them. I'm hoping it floats on top, but we'll see. <laughs> Wait, Mommy, can I have some of this? Nope. All right, so right now we've got our eggs. We've got a pepperoni on seven, and I actually sprinkle a little bit of cheddar cheese. So this should be some cheesy eggs. There's a good bit of mozzarella and Parmesan cheese in there. You have your shallots, your sun-dried tomato, and basil. So... We will see you in 20 minutes when these come out and with these, but I'm going to go ahead and show you the next one that I want to do. All right. See you in a bit.